Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll show you how to create an animated avatar just like me. It's super easy and totally free. Let's go. We're going to need two things to make this work. First, an image of the person to be our avatar. And then secondly, we need to animate the avatar and then give them a voice. For that first item to generate the image, there's lots of AI services out there these days that will do that. I'm going to pick midjourney.com. If you go out to the website here, midjourney.com, you want to click on the join the beta button here. This will take you to their Discord server. If you don't have a Discord account, it's super easy to set up and it's free. Just go to discord.com. But let me show you that server. In here, you'll want to navigate to the getting started channel, and this will give you the rules and how to generate the image. You'll notice that you get a free trial up to 25 queries, and then after that, you can buy a membership. For what we're doing, this will be totally free. So scrolling down, how to use this, we want to go to one of the newbie bot channels. I'm going to go into newbies four. Then we just type backslash imagine, and then a description of whatever the image is that you want. Within 60 seconds, you'll get four images, and then you'll get some options to upscale the image or create different variations. So let's go create our image. I'll come into the newbies four room. Now this server has millions of users, there's lots of activity in here, and this is how you generate your image. So you'll see lots of different things coming through. But let's start ours, backslash imagine, and you'll see that gives you the prompt. I'll just paste in what I used earlier to generate the example that I showed you. You can get as creative as you want, and the more descriptive, the better. So let's hit enter, and it does take a little scrolling around sometimes to see where your request is. Here we go, mine's currently being generated, we're at 62%. And when it's done, you will get tagged. You'll see I've got the red one indicator over here. And again, you'll probably need to scroll down to find where it landed. And here we go. Now underneath your image, you'll see that you've got buttons for U1234 as well as V1234. U is to upscale an image, basically create a higher resolution version and then V is just to try some different versions of that. So let's say that we like this one down here on the lower right. This is four. We'll say, let's create some more like this. So V4, and then we'll scroll. Here we go. It's currently generating some more images similar to that one. And when it's done, we'll go down to find the final version. And here we go. So maybe we really like this one on the lower left and we want to upscale it. So this would be number three and we'll just say U3, upscale three, and that'll just give you a higher resolution version. Give that a second to run. There she is. You'll see that you can make variations of this, some different redo options, and then you can also give feedback on what you thought about this. I'm gonna stick with the original version that I created. It's not gonna create the same thing every time, but let's see that you like this one. You can just click on it and then open in browser. And from here, right click, save image as, and then download it to your local system. Once you have the image you like, next we need to animate it and give it a voice. To do that, we're gonna go out to studio.did.com. This site lets you take a static image and animate it to talk. This also has a free trial available and you start with 20 credits. You'll see down here, there's different boilerplate images that you could use but you can also upload your own, which is what we're gonna do. So we'll add that image that we just created in Midjourney. I called her Kate. There we go. And then over here on the right, you can type in your script. I'm actually gonna paste mine in. And then you can choose from various built-in voices. So down here, you can choose your language, choose the voice, and then you can choose the style as well. So I'm gonna choose Jane, and Jane in a friendly style, let's say, and then generate the video. It'll give you the length of the video as well as the number of credits this will take. The longer the video is, the more credits it will consume. This one's pretty short, so just one credit, but let's generate. This one here on the left is the one that we just created, the other one I created earlier. So let's play this and see what Jane sounds like. If this is the coolest video you've ever seen, then I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button so it can spread to more people. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. 
So it's not bad. I think it sounds a little bit robotic though. You can try some of the other voices, but I personally really love that I can upload my own voice as well. So let's go back and create a new video. We'll use the same image here of Kate. And rather than typing in the script this time, let me upload an audio file that I created earlier. I've got a .m4a file. So let's generate this one. This will also use one credit, so generate. And we'll play this one and this will use my own voice. Thanks for hitting that like button. Also consider subscribing for more content like this. She's very persistent. So it's obviously not exactly like a human, but I think it's pretty darn good considering that it's totally free and it only took a few minutes to build it. So play around with it, see what you can build, and thank you so much for watching.